This is the Yakshi of the Darganj. A Yakshi has many names. Shalbhanjika, Vrishchika, Surasundari. It's a long list. India's illustrious past tells us that these beautiful women are the symbols of fertility and heralders of fulfillment, fecundity and abundance. This home is also a magical world in which one can see the distinguished past of Bihar through the contemporary window of a continuously developing state. We tend to forget where we come from. The museum has been set up to remind us and everyone else of the constantly kindling flame of our heritage. A visit to the Bihar Museum is a holistic experience in which one can see and enjoy works of art, learn about them, eat, play and meditate. It has been designed like a university campus where the galleries are interconnected and spread outwards. Today, Bihar's capital Patna defines a new relationship between the triple streams of progress, science and art as it links up with the ultramodern world of the future while aspiring to forge a creative link with Patliputra's prosperous past. The capital of the great Mauryan emperors, Patliputra, modern-day Patna, was not only identified with military might, but also as a center of prosperity cultural refinement and education. The identity of the new Patna of today is Samrat Ashok International Convention Center, the house of knowledge standing grandly on the shores of the Ganga. The Sabhyata Dwar or the gate of civilization of Gyan Bhavan shows us new paths for the future, at the same time opening the doors to our prosperous past. It is said that an artist himself recreates his predecessors. He opens closed doors, illuminating them with a new light, while lending a contemporary identity to old windows and doors already open. Possibly the largest museum in India in terms of its scale, the Bihar Museum is a symbol of this new identity.
Its doors opened for the public on the 2nd of October 2017. In 2011, Maki and Associates of Tokyo, along with Opolis Architects of Mumbai, were announced winners of an international competition to design the Bihar Museum. Many art experts call the Didar Ganj Yakshi the Mona Lisa of India. But this Yakshi wants to continue to remain the symbol of Bihar's distinguished past. It's a kind of symbol that wants to link us with digital dreams of the future and its immense possibilities, while at the same time linking the great past with the dreams and realities of the common man. The Bihar Museum is a museum of international standards. It aims to showcase the rich heritage of Bihar in its correct perspective while incorporating the concept of new museology with its motto, Museum of Community. The overall architecture of the museum is a living example of art where, as you look into the open passages, you reflect on great art experiences as evident in its various galleries. The History Gallery, the Contemporary Art Gallery, the Regional Gallery, along with Bihar's Diaspora Gallery. The Bihari diaspora is important since Biharis have made places like Mauritius, Fiji and Suriname their home and yet their deep links with their roots remain significant. Subodh Gupta one of the most eminent and internationally established names in the world of contemporary Indian art not only belongs to Bihar, but has also been a student of the Patna Arts College. His installation, titled Yantra, in the prestigious Buddha Angan, created with steel utensils put up in the museum's courtyard, symbolizes the new, forward-looking art of Bihar. <laughs> Distinguished art enthusiasts and laypersons like to visit the Bihar Museum time and again. The children's gallery and discovery room is the very heart of the Bihar Museum. This is a wonderland for children and directs them towards constructive, knowledge-driven activities, arousing intellectual curiosity to mold them into well-rounded citizens. Indeed, in this state-of-the-art museum, children feel relaxed, at home, and have an abundance of new discoveries to make. And finally, do not forget to savor Bihari cuisine. The branding of Bihari cuisine is equally important for the museum and the eating area is artistically designed. A single visit is not sufficient to search, learn and come alive. With each visit, you gain a new insight.
There is no discrimination here. The potter, the king, the saint, Buddha, Mahavir, Chanakya, Aryabhat, Shesha Suri, and Ashok the Great all stand under one roof. Patna's new Sabhita Dwar reminds one of Ashok's saying, When you respect another religion, you only add to the prestige of your own. This gateway to the museum silently tells us that if you respect the arts of the world, then the way you look at and appreciate your own art also changes. <laughs> 